All right, class. Today in social studies, we will be talking about American presidents. Mr. Ratburn, should we get started on American presidents right now? Yes, Caillou, we can get started on American presidents right now. So let's go. The first president is... George Washington. George Washington was our first ever American president of the United States. He was born on February 22, 1732. He was a president from 1789 to 1797. When he got re-elected in 1792, he was ready to retire. And his second term began in 1793. And he talked for a short time. Amount of 135 words. He later retired in 1797 and he later died on December 14, 1799. He was also a first ever American president to die. John Adams was our second president of the United States. He was born on October 30, 1735. He was a president from 1797 to 1801. He was the first president to have only one term. He retired in 1801 and later died on July 4, 1826 on the 50th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. Thomas Jefferson was our third president of the United States. He was born on April 13, 1743. He was a president from 1801 to 1809. He got re-elected in 1804 and his second term began in 1805. He later retired in 1809 and later died on July 4, 1826 on the 50th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. Hours before the death of his friend and revival, John Adams, James Madison, was our fourth president of the United States. He was born on March 16, 1751. He was a president from 1809 to 1817. He got re-elected in 1812 and his second term began in 1813. He later retired in 1817 and later died on June 28, 1836. James Monroe was our fifth president of the United States. He was born on April 28, 1758. He was a president from 1817 to 1825. He got re-elected in 1820 and his second term began in 1821. He later retired in 1825 and later died on July 4, 1831. John Quincy Adams was our sixth president of the United States. He was born on July 11, 1767. He was a president from 1825 to 1829. He retired in 1829 and later died on February 23, 1848. Andrew Jackson was our seventh president of the United States. He was born on March 15, 1767. He was a president from 1829 to 1837. He got re-elected in 1832 and his second term began in 1833. On January 30th. 1835. He had an assassination attempt. He was the first president to have an assassination attempt. He later retired in 1837 and later died on June 8, 1845. Martin Van Buren was our eighth president of the United States. He was born on December 5, 1782. He was a president from 1837 to 1841. He retired in 1841 and he later died on July 24, 1862. William Henry Harrison was our ninth president of the United States. He was born on February 9, 1773. He was a president only in 1841. Um, Mr. Ratburn, why was he president only in 1841? Well, you, I'll tell you the reason why right now. On March 4th. 1841, on his inauguration day, on the cold and wear day, he was bundled up, and he even delivered the longest speech, amount of 8,445 words, and for an hour and 45 minutes. Then, on March 26, 1841, he became ill with a cold and pneumonia. 
Nine days later, on April 4, 1841, he died. He was our first ever American president to die in office. He served the shortest term in office, an amount of one month, 30 days, 12 hours, and 30 minutes. The ninth president of the United States is in number with an amount of nine presidents. The tenth president is John Tyler. John Tyler was our tenth president of the United States. He was born on March 29, 1790. He was a president from 1841 to 1845. He was our first president to succeeded from vice president after the president died. In office, he succeeded to president after Harrison's death. He retired in 1845 and later died on January 18, 1862. James K. Polk was our 11th president of the United States. He was born on November 2, 1795. He was a president from 1845 to 1849. He retired in 1849 and later died a few months later on June 15, 1849. Uh, class, I don't feel so good. I think I'd better use the bathroom. Mr. Haney will take over. So please wait right here until Mr. Haney comes. So, I heard you guys were talking about American presidents. Yes, we are Mr. Haney. Okay, so let's continue on with the presidents. Zachary Taylor was our 12th president of the United States. He was born on the 24th of November 1784. He was a president from 1849 to 1850. Um, Mr. Haney, why was he president from 1849 to 1850? Okay, you, I'll tell you the reason why right now. On the 4th of July 1850, while giving out a long speech to everyone, he became ill. Five days later, on the 9th of July 1850, he died. He was our second president to die in office. Millard Fillmo was our 13th president of the United States. He was born on the 7th of January 1800. He was a president from 1850 to 1853. He succeeded from vice president to president in 1850 after Taylor's death. He retired in 1853 and later died on the 8th of March 1874. Franklin Pierce was our 14th president of the United States. He was born on the 23rd of November 1804. He was a president from 1853 to 1857. He retired in 1857 and later died on the 8th of October 1869. James Buchanan was our 15th president of the United States. He was born on the 23rd of April 1791. He was our last president to be born in the 18th century. He was a president from 1857 to 1861. He retired in 1861 and later died on the 1st of June 1868. Abraham Lincoln was our 16th president of the United States. He was born on the 12th of February 1809. He was a president from 1861 to 1865. He got re-elected in 1864 and his second term began in 1865. He was our first president since Andrew Jackson to have two terms. He was also a president during the Civil War. Um, Mr. Haney, I know his second term began in 1865. But why did his presidency end in 1865? Well, Kai, you, I'll tell you the reason why right now. On the 14th of April 1865, on Good Friday, Lincoln went to Fort Theater with his wife, Mary Todd Lincoln and his guests. At 10.15 p.m., Lincoln was shot by John Wilkes Booth. Then the next day, he died. He was our third president to die in office, and our first president to be assassinated. Andrew Johnson was our 17th president of the United States. He was born on the 29th of December 1808. He was a president from 1865 to 1869. He seceded from vice president to president in 1865 after Lincoln's assassination. He retired in 1869 and later died on the 31st of July 1875. Lysis S. Grant was our 18th president of the United States. He was born on the 27th of April 1822. He was a president from 1869 to 1877. He got re-elected in 1872 and his second term began in 1873. He was our first president since Andrew Jackson to have two full terms.
He later retired in 1877 and later died on the 23rd of July 1885. Rutherford B. Hayes was our 19th President of the United States. He was born on the 4th of October 1822. He was a president from 1877 to 1881. He retired in 1881 and later died on the 17th of January 1893. The 19th president is the number that was amount of 19 presidents. The 20th president is James A. Garfield. James A. Garfield was our 20th president of the United States. He was born on the 19th of November 1831. He was a president only in 1881. Um, Mr. Haney, why was he president only in 1881? Well, Kai Yu, I'll tell you the reason why right now. On the 2nd of July 1881, Garfield was assassinated by Charles J. Gitto. Two months later, on the 19th of September 1881, he died. He was our fourth president to die in office. And the second one to be assassinated. Chester A. Arthur was our 21st President of the United States. He was born on the 5th of October 1829. He was a President from 1881 to 1885. He succeeded from Vice President to President after Garfield's assassination. He retired in 1885 and later died on the 18th of November 1886. You know what class, I'm getting tired of talking to you guys about Presidents. And I have to do some more work. So have a good rest of your day. Okay class, I'm Boris. You might have known me as Caillou's dad. I came in here for an observation today. Anyways, let's continue on with American presidents. Grover Cleveland was our 22nd president of the United States. He was born on March 18, 1837. He was a president from 1885 to 1889. He retired in 1889 for now and I won't tell you the death date now. Benjamin Harrison was our 23rd President of the United States. He was born on August 20, 1833. He was a President from 1889 to 1893. He retired in 1893 and later died on March 13, 1901. He was the first President to die in the 20th century. Grover Cleveland was our 24th President of the United States. I already told you the birth date. He was the only president to have two non-consecutive terms. He was the 24th president after being the 22nd president. He was the 24th president from 1893 to 1897. He later retired in 1897 again and he later died on June 24, 1908. William McKinley was our 25th president of the United States. He was born on January 29, 1843. He was a president from 1897 to 1901. He was our first president to be president during the 20th century. He got re-elected in 1900 and his second term began in 1901. Um, Dad, I know his second term began in 1901. But why did his presidency end in 1901? Well Caillou, I will tell you the reason why right now. On September 6, 1901, McKinley went to the Temple of Music in Buffalo, New York. At 4.07 p.m., he was assassinated by Leon Shulgis. McKinley died eight days later on September 14, 1901. He was our fifth president to die in office, the first president to die in office in the 20th century, and becoming our third American president to be assassinated. Theodore Roosevelt, or Teddy Roosevelt, was our 26th president of the United States. He was born on October 27, 1858. He was a president from 1901 to 1909. He seceded from vice president to president after McKinley's assassination. He was also the youngest president. He was 42 when he became president. He even became president on a Saturday. On a weekend. He got elected in 1904 and his second term began in 1905 on a Saturday again. He later retired in 1909 and he later died on January 6, 1919. William Howard Taft was our 27th President of the United States. He was born on September 15, 1857. He was a President from 1909 to 1913. He retired in 1913 and later died on March 8, 1930. Woodrow Wilson 
was our 28th President of the United States. He was born on December 28, 1856. He was a president from 1913 to 1921. He got re-elected in 1916 and his second term began in 1917. He later retired in 1921 and he later died on February 3, 1924. Warren G. Harding, was our 29th President of the United States. He was born on November 2, 1865. He was a president from 1921 to 1923. Um, Dad, why was he president from 1921 to 1923? Well Caillou, I will tell you the reason why right now. In July or August 1923. Harding suffered a massive heart attack. Then, on August 2, 1923, he died. He was our sixth president to die in office. He was our first president since Zachary Taylor to die in office of natural causes. The 29th president is a number amount of 29 presidents. The 30th president is Calvin Coolidge. Calvin Coolidge was our 30th President of the United States. He was born on July 4, 1872, on the 96th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. He was a President from 1923 to 1929. He succeeded from Vice President to President after Harding's death. He got elected in 1924 and his second term began in 1925. He later retired in 1929 and later died on January 5, 1933. Herbert Hoover was our 31st President of the United States. He was born on August 10, 1874. He was a President from 1929 to 1933. He retired in 1933 and later died on October 20, 1964. Franklin Delano Roosevelt or Franklin D. Roosevelt or Franklin Roosevelt or FDR was our 32nd President of the United States. He was born on January 30, 1882. He was a President from 1933 to 1945. He was the only President to be a President for 12 years. He got re-elected in 1936, 1940, and 1944. He won the election four times and he was the only president to do that. His second term began in 1937. His third term began in 1941. And his fourth term began in 1945. Um, Dad, I know his fourth term began in 1945. But why did his presidency end it in 1945? Well Caillou, I will tell you the reason why right now. On March 29, 1945, Roosevelt went to the Little White House in Warm Springs, Georgia. On April 12, 1945, he woke up with a headache. That afternoon, he died after 12 years of being the president. He was our seventh president to die in office. Harry S. Truman was our 33rd president of the United States. He was born on May 8, 1884. He was a president from 1945 to 1953. He succeeded from Vice President to President after Roosevelt's death. He got elected in 1948 and his second term began in 1949. He later retired in 1953 and later died on December 26, 1972. Dwight D. Eisenhower or Dwight David Eisenhower Born David Dwight Eisenhower was our 34th President of the United States. He was born on October 14. 1890. He was our last president to be born in the 19th century. He was a president from 1953 to 1961. He got re-elected in 1956 and his second term began in 1957. He later retired in 1961 and later died on March 28, 1969. John F. Kennedy, or JFK or Jack Kennedy or Jack F. Kennedy or John Fitzgerald, born Jack Fitzgerald Kennedy, was our 35th President of the United States. He was born on May 29, 1917. He was the first President to be born in the 20th century. He was a President from 1961 to 1963. He was our second youngest President. He was 43 when he became President. Um. Dad, why was he president from 1961 to 1963? 
Well Caillou, I will tell you the reason why right now. On November 22, 1963, Kennedy and his wife Jackie, went to Dallas, Texas. On 12.30 p.m., Kennedy was shot by Lee Harvey Oswald at the Dealey Plaza. Then, Kennedy was taken to Parkland Hospital to get treatment, where he is pronounced dead at 1 p.m. He was our eighth president to die in office. He was our most recent president to die in office. He was also our fourth president to be assassinated. Lyndon B. Johnson was our 36th president of the United States. He was born on August 27, 1908. He was a president from 1963 to 1969. He seceded from vice president to president after Kennedy's assassination. He got elected in 1964 and his second term began in 1965. He later retired in 1969 and he later died on January 22, 1973. Richard Nixon was our 37th president of the United States. He was born on January 9, 1913. He was a president from 1969 to 1974. He got re-elected in 1972 and his second term began in 1973. Let me guess, did he die in office this time? No, Caillou, not this time. But his presidency ended in 1974. Why did his presidency ended in 1974? Well Caillou, I will tell you the reason why right now. On August 8, 1974, Nixon decided to resign. Then, he gave out his farewell speech to everyone. Then the next day, on August 9, 1974, he resigned. He was the only president to resign. He later died on April 22, 1994. Gerald Ford, born Leslie Lynch King Jr., was our 38th president of the United States. He was born on July 14, 1913. He was a president from 1974 to 1977. He succeeded from vice president to president after Nixon resigned. He retired in 1977 and he later died on December 26, 2006. Jimmy Carter was our 39th president of the United States. He was born on October 1, 1924. He was a president from 1977 to 1981. He was our first president since Herbert Hoover to have one full term. He retired in 1981 and he is still living at age 94. The 39th president is a number amount of 39 presidents. The 40th president is Ronald Reagan Ronald Reagan was our 40th president of the United States. He was born on February 6, 1911. He was a president from 1981 to 1989. On March 30, 1981, two months into his term, he had an assassination attempt by John Hinckley Jr. He was our second president to have an assassination attempt. He was 70 at that time. He later recovered on April 11. He got re-elected in 1984 and his second term began in 1985. He later retired in 1989 and he later died on June 5. 2004. George H. W. Bush was our 41st president of the United States. He was born on June 12, 1924. He was a president from 1989 to 1993. He retired in 1993 and he later died on November 30, 2018, which was a month ago. He was also our first president to reach the age of 94. Bill Clinton, born William Jefferson Clinton was our 42nd President of the United States. He was born on August 19, 1946. He was our President from 1993 to 2001. He was our third youngest President. He was 46 when he became President. He got re-elected in 1996 and he his second term began in 1997. He later retired in 2001 and he is still living at age 72. George W. Bush Born George Walker Bush, was our 43rd President of the United States. He was born on July 6, 1946. George H. W. Bush was his father. He was a President from 2001 to 2009. He got re-elected in 2004 and his second term began in 2005. 
He retired in 2009 and he is still living at age 72. All right class, I'm back. Boris, thank you very much for coming in for an observation. You're welcome Mr. Ratburn. All right class, let's continue on with American presidents. Barack Obama was our 44th president of the United States. He was born on August 4, 1961. He was a president from 2009 to 2017. He was our first African American president. He was our fifth youngest president. He was 47 when he became president. He got re-elected in 2012 and his second term began in 2013. He later retired in 2017 and he is still living at age 57. Donald Trump is our 45th and current president of the United States. He was born on June 14, 1946. He has been a president since 2017. He might get impeached this year or so because he is very mean. He is also our first oldest president. He was 70 when he became president and he is still living at age 72. And then you have a class. Those are all of the president of 2019. So, what was your favorite president? My favorite one was Chester Uatha, because I'm named after his last name. My favorite one was Barack Obama, because I was born during his presidency. My favorite one was James Madison because the city is named after him. My favorite one was George W. Bush, because George H. W. Bush was his father. My favorite one was George H. W. Bush because it was said when he died a month ago. My favorite one was FDR because he was in office for 12 years. My favorite one was Grover Cleveland, because he was the only president to win two non-consecutive terms. My favorite one was George Washington because he was our first president of the United States. My favorite one was Abraham Lincoln, because he was the tallest president. And I'm no classic Caillou's favorite president is Donald Trump. My favorite one was Theodore Roosevelt, because he was 42 when he became president. And my favorite one was Thomas Jefferson, because he signed the Declaration of Independence. And now that social studies is over, it's time for reading.